Today, a marathon first courtesy of Eric Manzo will be the first time a visually impaired runner will attempt a marathon using, well, using a remote guide. And joining me now is Eric Manzo. And Eric, tell me how these glasses, high-tech glasses, work. Absolutely. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, I'm using uh, today something called IRA. Uh, it's an emerging technology, very exciting for blind and visually impaired people. Uh, what IRA does is it pairs a camera that's mounted on smart glasses, right. uh, in this case, Google Glass, uh, paired with a smartphone app. Uh, so I trigger the IRA app, and instantly the agent uh, from IRA is able to access the camera that I'm wearing. That is awesome. So they can see my environment, my surroundings. Uh, this this is absolutely going to be a real test of this technology. I mean, the real value many blind and visually impaired are getting today, like the day-to-day -day use of the technology, is to do things like grocery shop, mm -hmm. go through the airport, that kind of thing. So running with 30,000 other people in a crowded kind of environment, you know, such as the Boston Marathon course, which is such a, a, a fantastic course, uh, will be a true test. I mean, you know, people jockeying for position, cutting across your path at the water stops, that sort of thing. It's really going to be an extreme case and you know the point of the exercise and pun completely intended uh, is to really kind of push the limits of the technology so that when I come back with the experience and can share feedback ideally they'll implement some changes that will really push the technology even further make it a better solution all right talk about if you would the remote guide the remote guide actually the uh, the a agent from Ira that I'll be working with today is, a, is a, a gal named Jess Jessica from Ohio and she and I have done some test runs but out in the country like okay. I'm low traffic roads and we have a live picture of her oh do you oh, oh very good there you go. yeah I haven't even seen her before so <laughs> it'll uh, it'll be really a different setting here in the Boston Marathon because they had a computer yep absolutely they have a dashboard uh, as soon as I'm calling in she can see okay it's Eric calling he's got X number of battery life left on his phone he's got X number of battery life left on the glass and they're seeing what you're seeing on the course absolutely what I'm seeing uh, I am also for the point of safety and and keep everyone safe and secure. Yeah, I'm also going to have my friend David. Hi, I'm David. David yeah. uh, he's an IBM colleague with me. He uh, and I have been running for about two years together. He's been guiding me. So this is kind of the traditional way I've been running with a tether, <laughs> you know, tethered to another person, uh, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing that they do. But uh, yeah, the, the test of IRA today will, will be to see what we can figure out and, and how it works. How long do you plan to run this race? How, how What hour do you think you've come um, Well, I mean, I normally come in here with a very specific time target but because of the nature of the the technology test that we're doing today I'm gonna take a conservative we're gonna go you know very cautious right. and you know so I would say probably around the five-hour area good for you. Thank good you. For you thank you hey congratulations good luck go Th get them thank you very much all right Chris